So, I'm going to be turning a trend into an aesthetic room decor piece. Let's get into the video. I've been seeing this kind of wacky design where the colors are totally opposite from each other. So today, I'm going to be turning this trend into a poster that you can hang on your wall. So the first step here is I'm taking my ruler and making this checkered pattern with my pencil. So now I'm changing the direction of my ruler to go up and down to finish off that final square. So here I'm starting to add in the details and I'm just making these abstract squiggly shapes. When I was doing this process, I was actually thinking of like the inside of a fruit to really think about like the colors that I was gonna use later on when I paint it. Now I'm starting to do this squiggly pattern up in the right hand corner. And now I'm making another kind of squiggly pattern. And here I started adding in some flowers just to really bring out the kind of 70s, 80s aesthetic vibe that I was going for. Here I started to paint in all of my little drawings. This was very therapeutic, just going in and getting in all those little crevices. love to see your guys's crafts if you do something similar to this or like put a twist on it with your own aesthetic you can take a picture of it post it on instagram and put hashtag peach desert again that's hashtag peach desert And you know, please, if you guys like this video and want to see a part two, you could totally say that in the comments. Or better yet, you could um, put a suggestion of a trend that you guys are loving, and then I can see if I can make that into some sort of uh, room decor piece. So here I'm just filling out this one shape 
I like to use all one color for um, some of those lines that are pink and I'm just carefully following my little squiggles. Okay, I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys now how I normally do. Um, so yeah, I've been recently um, getting a lot of plants and loving gardening. I got a flower plant and a strawberry plant and they're so much fun to take care of. Also, getting a plant is a really good thing to have um, before you get a pet if you're in the market for looking one because you kind of learn to you know take responsibility like because for a plant you have to water it you have to make sure that it's not too much in the sun you have to kind of pack the soil but i've been having a lot of fun um just checking up on them every day and especially for the strawberry one um it has already these two little green strawberries and it's so cute oh my god I'm in love with it <laughs> it's very cute I've been also kind of like in the process of making my room exactly how I want it to be I've just been you know doing some crafts on the side making some um, posters and you know just putting up um, things that I normally wouldn't put up on my roll wall because <laughs> um recently it was easter and i got these um peeps and i thought they were so cute i love the peep packaging and how they just look i think they look adorable but i'm not a big fan of eating peeps so i decided to put it up on my wall and it looks so cute it's like that 3d kind of art style and I love how it looks. <laughs> I think it's so cute. You know, that's just like a reminder. Like, you guys can use anything for your poster. You don't have to go on Amazon just to buy some room decor. I wanted to start this channel to show you guys different ways to recycle um, garbage and different materials that you just have laying around in your house so you don't have to you know, um, use a lot of money to buy one thing for your room. Like, for example, this, um, painting, I'm actually using a backing of an old sketchbook, um, to paint on. And, yeah, it was super easy. I just cut it out with, um, scissors, and then I made it, um, exact with a paper cutter. But you guys can just use a ruler and then draw on it and then cut it if you don't have a paper cutter. And it was just super easy and you know, it was recycling so it was really fun. I've been seeing this cool trend lately where you get like um, soda cans and you like put them on your wall or you like tie them to yarn and make like a kind of dream catcher thing um, and hang it up on your uh, ceiling or just like making them um, little planters. And I think that's very cute. And a good way to recycle things because, you know, recycling is sweet. <laughs> um, I also have a video on my blog called How to Paint a CD. So I recycled that. I'm trying to think of other things that I recycled. I'm not sure, <laughs> but recycling is a good way to use, you know, um, old things that you already have and turn them into beautiful art pieces that you can just use instead of buying new things. Now I'm filling in the checkers with this nice blue color that I mixed up. Thank you. 
I also started using a dotting tool here because I was trying to get in some of those tiny little crevices that I couldn't get into with the paintbrush. You could also use a toothpick if you don't have a dotting tool because that gets um, little areas that you can't get into with a paintbrush. Here I'm just using my paintbrush and quickly marking the squares that I want to paint blue. I just go in one at a time, filling in that square with the blue color. And just make sure that you're being careful when you're using that small object so you don't get um, some paint on the object that you're going around. I also really wanted to talk about, you know, getting yourself out of your comfort zone now for some people that means so many different things there's so many different things that you can get outside of your comfort zone if that's doing an art project doing a school subject um, seeing people going places whatever but for me personally I think that means getting more used to how things quote-unquote used to be like before the virus i loved hanging out with my friends i used to go to their house almost every day after school i would you know text with them non-stop i was very you know emotionally attached to my friends and that kind of determined my mental health which I don't really think is a good thing to have. I think that you should determine your mental health and you should determine what makes you happy. But for me, it was who I'm with and where I am. And I feel like that has a good component to do with it. But I feel like you also have to teach yourself to, you know, be nice and... Just have time with yourself and reflect and, you know, find out what you can do to help you because that is really important. So I just wanted to quickly talk a little bit about that. So now I'm filling in the rest of the squares with this kind of yellowy color using the same technique. So here is the final product. I think it looks so cool. I hung it up with my other posters and I can't wait to see your guys' other similar paintings.